I dare you to not laugh when you hear the explanation of the ghost in this ancient text. The oldest known depiction of a ghost discovered on an ancient Babylonian tablet. Now, most of us know of the stories of Macbeth's ghosts from Shakespeare of Macbeth, and we also know about the story of the prophet Samuel and King Saul. And Saul was going to battle and he needed the prophet Samuel's advice. And uh, he did something he was not supposed to do. He went to the witch of Endor to have her conjure up the prophet Samuel's ghost. And these are biblical stories that we know of. Now, even our Lord Jesus Christ said he was not a ghost when he appeared to his disciples after his resurrection. He says, touch me and you'll see. Now, the tablet here in question, the Babylonian tablet, has been at the British Museum for a long time, but only recently have researchers discovered that it contains a drawing as well as a text, but the drawing was not seen. It was a mystery. It was uh, something unusual that happened. According to Irvin Finkel, the world's leading expert in cuneiform, a system of writing used in the ancient Middle East, this text is part of a guide on how to get rid of ghosts. Okay, that's useful for all of us. Now, the oldest known depiction of a ghost has been discovered on the Babylonian tablet that's in the British Museum. Local media reports, the artifact shows a spirit portrayed as a bearded man with his hands tied with a rope and dragged into the afterlife by a woman. Hollywood movies caught us, taught us that ghosts are otherworldly hair-raising creatures who terrorize whoever they meet. Now, but according to Dr. Irvin Finkel, curator of the Middle Eastern Department at the British Museum, the one depicted on the tablet seems quite nice, he says. He became a ghost in an attempt to find a female companion. Can you believe that? <laughs> a female companion what? A ghost? Female companion? What can you say? I only support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Now, Dr. Irvin Finkel has a lot of videos on YouTube, and he's got a tremendous sense of humor. So I don't know if he's joking when he says that this ghost wants to find a female companion. Anyway, he says it's obviously a male ghost, because he's got a beard, and he's miserable. Can you imagine a tall, thin, bearded ghost hanging about the house did get on people's nerves? The final analysis was that what this ghost needed was a lover, he said. And that's it. Irvin Finkel has a tremendous, I mean, when you listen to him, you can't stop. He's got a tremendous uh, sense of humor. Now, according to this researcher, the tablet might have been part of a library in the house of an exorcist. And the text inscribed was a guide on how to get rid of ghosts. Although Dr. Finkel admits that the method was quite funny. He said that somebody thinks that they can get rid of a ghost by giving them a bedfellow is quite, quite comic. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Anyway, he says, as mentioned earlier, the ancient tablet has been in the possession of the British Museum for a long time. But only recently were researchers able to discover the painting. Dr. Finkel suggested that it could enter the Guinness. The Guinness Book of Records. Oh, my God. He said, you probably never give it a second thought because the area where the drawings are looks like it's got no... <laughs> I just can't believe this. Okay, look, okay, it's... There's a lot of things in the British Museum that they, that they have that they, they haven't examined yet. First of all, they have to know how to read cuneiform. There's not that many people in the world that know how to read cuneiform writing. Okay, Dr. Irvin Finkel is one of the few. But anyway, he says, you probably never get a second thought because the area where the drawings are looks like it's got no writing. But when you examine it and hold it up under a lamp, in other words, light, 
those figures leap out at you across time in the most startling way. It is a Guinness Book of Records object because how could anybody have a drawing of a ghost? <laughs> Which was older, he said. <laughs> this is ridiculous. But this is news. This is on Sputnik News by Max Gorbachev, and it's amazing. What they have in the British Museum. Uh, it's just... Um, Okay, they have uh, the Rosetta Stone there as well. I've been there a few times because my sons used to go to a university there in London. Okay, so please leave your comments on this. This is <laughs> He doesn't give us a, a picture of the, uh, for those of you who are curious, he does not give us a picture of that tablet, unfortunately, nor the uh, negative of the uh, ghosts on that tablet, which he held under a lamp. Okay, just in case you're wondering. So what do you think about this explanation that this ghost wanted a bedfellow, which is very, of course, difficult to believe. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.